please consider donating to our Patreon. In the Fridge is produced by dedicated volunteers, and all of our equipment is borrowed or donated. With your donations, we can grow this platform and continue supporting the community. Thank you. Okay, this song is Long Island Iced Tea. You just say nothing when I'm tearing your heart out, when I'm breaking us up. You don't know what to do, that's why I tear my heart out. You don't know how to show you care. You don't know how to show you there. You can't wait for me, cause I'm not coming back. You could beg me, please, but I can't take you with me over the sea, living on the beach. Drinking Long Island iced tea I just say nothing When I move my shit out Cause it's already done I so know what to do So I move my shit out So I just can't wait too much You can't Cause I'm not coming back, not coming back You could beg me please, but I can't take you with me Over the sea, living on the beach Drinking Long Island iced tea
Welcome back to another week of In the Fridge. We are here with Coral once more. <laughs> thanks for coming in again, Coral. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, so what have you been up to between your last session and this one? Um, I've been doing lots of gigs, lots of songwriting, and I just got back from LA where I was in the competed in the World Champs of Performing Arts. So that was really cool, and yeah, summertime is on its way, so lots of work. Oh, great. Well, do you want to maybe uh, tell us a little bit about your time over in LA, like um, just how that went for you, and I suppose what you saw of the scene over there, really? Yeah, no, it was very, it was very um, eye-opening, and we went over to Long Beach and stayed at a very nice hotel, and there was over 60 countries competing, and lots of, I did lots of different genres and did some songs with backing tracks and kind of pushed myself out of my comfort zone and played a couple of originals too and came home with three gold medals, a silver and a bronze. Cool. Yeah. So how, how many musicians were, were there all up? Was, um, um, well, there was the thousands, thousands of contestants, yeah. but it was because it's a variety um, competition. So we had instrumentalists, um, singers, dancers, models, actors. So it was very cool. We met a lot of interesting people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you get to collaborate with anybody while you were over there, like in any performances or just, or even just like make it out to any shows and see people? Um, we, we made it to a few drag, drag queen shows down oh, the road. Cool. That was really cool. And we did see some really cool country rock bands. And that's, I feel like my new songs that I've been writing definitely have a bit of influence of the music over, yeah. th over there. And... Yeah, we had we had a few party nights after the competition had finished yeah. where we had all the musicians from the competition all sitting around the table singing and that was really fun. But that was kind of, yeah, the only kind of collaboration. We were all competing against each other. Yeah, yeah, so, true. Yeah. <laughs> it was, really was, it cool, was it quite easy to find, like, stuff to do, like, as far as, like, finding gigs to go to and things like that when you were when you were wandering about? Or? Yeah, well, we stayed quite, like, central to where we were um, staying and kind of just wandered around and... Um, didn't do too much exploring of Los Angeles, but uh, yeah, there was there was a lot of music. We we found the local Irish bar, which had music seven nights a week. Nice. So we were there, you know, seven nights a week. <laughs> it was very very interesting. Yeah. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the maybe the next song you're going to play for us? Um, the next song I'm actually going to play one of the first songs. Um, me and my mum ever wrote for Rock Quest when I was 15. I was kind of thinking about what songs to play and I thought I'll, I'll play this one because I've just uh, kind of changed up how I play it. Yeah. And uh, it's become kind of my new old favourite. So it's called I've Got a Secret. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go right, get right into that. <laughs> I got a secret I cannot tell and I've got a wish but no wishing well and I've got a dream but nowhere to sleep I've got your heart which you cannot keep and I've got a poem but without the rhyme and I've got the sun without the shine Am I half empty or am I half full? Do I know everything or am I just a fool? I've got a question that needs an answer. I've got a song that needs a dancer. I've got a journey but nowhere to go. I'm in a hurry, I'm still going so slow. I've got the lock, but without the key I'm looking forward, but still cannot see Am I half empty or am I half full? Do I know everything or am I just a fool? Is it the truth or is it just what we believe? Am I hiding or is my heart on my sleeve? And I've got the need, but not the desire. And I've got the flame without the fire. 
I've got a garden without any flowers. I'm a superhero without any powers. I've got a message I cannot send. I've got a story that needs an end. Am I half empty or am I half full? Do I know everything or am I just a fool? Is it the truth or is it just what we believe? Am I hiding or is my heart on my sleeve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I half empty or am I half full? Um, so between now and your last session, I think another thing that happened was you launched your first sort of full blown album. Yeah. How have you found, um, sort of, I don't know, I suppose like gigging and just playing in general since, since that, I guess, cause it's a big milestone really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I think throwing the party, <laughs> we had an amazing album release party and, you know, just all of my friends and family that came out to support the music and I think wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, well, I know that we you did. guys yeah, opened yeah. up for, <laughs> for it and it was an amazing night and that definitely like, it gave me a taste for that I know that I want to be playing my original music Yeah. and that at the moment the covers, they're doing the bells and getting me a lot of experience and stuff like get, doing the bills. <laughs> Paying the bills, yeah, yeah. but definitely working towards that ultimate goal of being full time original artist. Yeah. And did you get to sort of? I mean, you were saying before that you got to play a little bit of original music while you were actually overseas as well. Yeah. Was that was that like a really nice feeling just to be able to like let that stand on its own? Yeah, oh, definitely. The um, uh, the song I'm going to play last today actually won a gold and a bronze medal oh, cool. in the world champ. So that was really good to be able to compete with an original song and then. Still, you know, that people acknowledged that like song. So yeah. it's very cool. Um, have you been working on sort of working towards any other recordings or anything? Yeah, at the we've moment? actually yeah. been recording just here yeah. <laughs> um, with Jake and um, well, you too. And that's really oh, cool. We've yeah, got a new you. song coming out and working, yeah, working on the new album, really just doing lots of writing and yeah. very excited about getting some new songs out too. Have you already got the album written or are you sort of like, is that sort of working as you do it? Yeah, kind of yeah, thing, the yeah. songs keep kind of coming coming to coming together. Yeah. And very flow if the song pops in and I'm like that's a good one let's put that on. Yeah. And cuz that's how we made the other album. We weren't sure what songs we were going to do when we started. Yeah. And then wrote a new one. Oh, let's put that on and then kind of revamped an old one. And so I think it's just what feels right. Yeah. Do you find that the songs kind of are maybe between writing them and then finally getting to record them, do, do they all go through a large amount of changes or do, you, do some of them just sort of instantly come out exactly how you want them and you don't want to touch them? Yeah, I think, well, again, because the songs are written on acoustic guitar, so when you go into the studio, there's so much options of what you can put in to make a song, yeah. you know, what you try and what you hear in your head. But, uh, yeah, some songs are definitely easier than others, but... Yeah, no, it's always exciting to hear what other people, other musicians bring to the song. And you're yeah. like, that is so cool, you read my mind. So that's what you want when you're working with people, eh? Yeah, definitely. Did you find that when you were recording your first album, like the musicians that you sort of chose to work with, did they kind of have quite a bit of influence on just maybe some of the developments of the songs? And definitely, yeah. definitely. Because we had, I think it was about... Ten people in total that kind of came and did little parts and like the violin and then yeah. the piano just um, just on specific songs and definitely what they brought to the tracks was very, very, well, dynamic and it makes each song so different, having yeah. different people playing on, on the songs. And do you find that that affects maybe the... Maybe just the way that you play them live solo as well? Do Definitely. You, yeah. A few of them changed quite a lot, especially from, like, from the album. And now I play them like how we recorded them yeah. instead of the other way around. Yeah. Because I, I know that on a, like quite a few of the tracks on the first album you had, Aaron and Amy looking for Alaska, yes, helping yeah, out. Did, yeah. Yeah. did they sort of bring well, – I mean, not, not just them as well, but I mean all the other musicians like – did you find that there was almost bits of their own sort of original styles and stuff sort of coming in? Definitely, yeah. especially when, because I never quite know what I'm, you know, 
trying to go what I'm going yeah. for. So having them come in and then me give them a little idea and then letting them use their talents to kind of yeah, just yeah. that real sort of like feeding off each other. Yeah, 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 and I think that's how magic happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, so, what are you going to play for us next? I am going to play a song called Remedy. It's, um, these next ones are very new songs, but um, yeah, this is Remedy. Oh, excellent! Looking forward to hearing <clears throat> it. Thank you. <clears throat> And I don't know what to do And I don't want to leave you Will I feel all alone I feel free I just want to be the best version of me But da -da 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 Be the best version of you. You don't say go, but you don't say stay. You say I should know how much you love me, but you're gonna make the same mistake as your last break. I need to get out of my home, like the distraction. It's a modern day syndrome Started a chain reaction You don't say go But you don't say stay You say I should know How much you love me But you gotta make the same mistake As your last break The same Just want us to be the best version of you and me You don't say go, but you don't say stay You say I should know how much you love me You don't say go, but you don't say stay You say I should know how much you love me You Cool. Oh, and we're rolling. We're rolling these ones out. What is the next song? What is the next song? Oh, I'm going to play my brand new single. And we've been recording this for just over a month now. And had a few uh, people come up and play on the track, so it's very exciting. And this song was written before a gig. Um, probably, yeah, probably two months ago. It's very fresh. And I was in a bit of a, a, bit of a mood. And I was like, what can I do to keep myself in a in a good mood for my gig. So I started writing the song and it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's called Cigarette Burns. So yeah, it's coming out very soon. I looked in the mirror and saw my chip too. I'll just have to get it fixed when I'm rich. Then I looked in my closet but there's nothing to wear My clothes have had it Wait till I'm rich But everyone says I'm looking great So I just take a break How do I Learn the power when all my clothes Have cigarette burns, cigarette burns Cigarette burns How do I not lose heart When my stuff is falling apart Falling apart Show me where you are, where you are, where you are. Show me where you are, where you are, where you are. 
Called you keep breaking my heart, and it's uh, it was written in two, two separate kind of for well, two separate songs really, and then we, I realised that they were made to be together. And the line is you keep breaking my heart until it opens, and me and our mum saw that um, at Refuel, Refuel Joe, I think all the Wintec students had painted the wall, and it was a quote from it, a quote on the wall, and it was very. I know it was a very beautiful quote and we thought we have to put that in the song and then a couple months later I was having a, a an off day and then I wrote the rest of the song to it so uh, this is You Keep Breaking My Heart Today I faked a smile sat alone for a while drove a hundred miles to see if there could be a different future Tonight I drank a bottle of wine So I could lose my mind Everything I'm fine to see If there could be a different future You keep breaking my heart You keep breaking my heart you keep breaking my heart until it opens. Tomorrow I'll get up tired. I feel uninspired. I'll take shot by you know that there isn't a different future. You keep breaking my heart. You keep breaking my heart You keep breaking my heart Until it opens We're not living my life, we're just living yours When you get home to me, you treat me like a chore We're not living our life, we're just living yours You ignore me Breaking my heart 
sweet. Okay, well, thanks so much again for coming in, Coral. Oh, thanks for having me. And thanks for giving us the sneak peek of, well, I mean, so this is mainly stuff from what will be your next album, yes, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yep. so brand new songs and, uh, yeah, it's very exciting. Cool, yeah. And so what else have you got coming up in the near future as far as gigs go? Um, lots of summer summer shows around the beach towns of Whangamataa and Waihi Beach, so that's yeah. summertime. Yeah, I've got my summer dress on, so I'm feeling nice. very in the mood because um, it's, it's been a bit of a quiet winter, mm. so definitely ready to get back to work. Are you doing any sort of uh, like festival shows or anything over the over the summer at the um, moment? Not yet, not so far, yeah. but I'm hoping hoping these songs, you know, get some recognition and be able to uh, do some cooler, bigger Bigger gigs would be awesome. Sweet. And for anybody that's watching that might be like new to your music, um, where can they find you online? Like, what are the best places? Probably Facebook, um, Coral's Music, or One Word, or my website, which is coralnz.com. Great. And um, and I suppose also, where can people find your first album? Um, it's on all digital platforms, so Spotify, iTunes, and I still have physical copies too, so if they want to physical copy you can just write to me on my facebook page and i'll send the new one cool well thanks again this has been really great cool and i'm gonna look have for- an afternoon nap <laughs> nice. and look forward to seeing what you do you know in future as well cool thank okay. you thank you we are out oh, it's so intense i feel so intense